for those of you wondering, I, I do actually change my clothes sometimes. And even if I didn't, I think I smell pretty good. Better than this farm here, yeah, that's for sure. Catalonia or the Girona region for for winter but to know why I'm here we kind of have to put a bit of a Euro timeline together so at the end of 2011 I finished at the University of Cape Town with my degree and I kind of knew that I wasn't finished with cycling I dived in with both feet and signed for a team based in the Netherlands I had really cool teammates who helped me out a lot but it was a hell of a learning curve. It was a lot of of Belgian Kermis racing, a lot of cornering, a lot of riders, and a lot of sprinting, and a lot of DNFs, to be honest. Having struggled a lot, which we'll get into in another vlog, I knew it was time for a change, and I signed for an amateur team based in France called UC Aubina. So I arrived in France at the start of the 2013 season. I arrived in January to two to three degrees and by far the coldest I had ever experienced on a bike. And I arrived to a train station in Montélimar and I didn't speak a word of French. Beyond bonjour and au revoir and s'il vous plaît, I knew nothing. And I got picked up by someone who helps out with the team and hopped into the car and it was basically a 40 minute drive in silence. He spoke no English, I spoke zero French and he dropped me off with the team accommodation and that was that. And it was a style of racing I really enjoyed and terrain I really enjoyed and I was improving and getting into front groups and I really, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that again. And then when it came to 2014, I put together a really good season, won two races, finished in the top 10 20 other times and went and started looking for a team in September. Nothing sort of came together and, and it was probably the most frustrating time in my life because I genuinely knew I had the legs and had the results. but. I just couldn't catch a break, you know, wherever I looked. And that was extremely difficult. When I got down here, I just sort of threw myself into training massively and and trained really, probably harder than I've ever trained in my entire life. And I think this place was so great for that just because I could go and explore and just ride all day and that's when I really, really sort of fell in love with the riding around here. And that's why I decided to come back this year. Yeah, baby. That's me done for the day. Check y'all next week. Hola.